If you watch the pilot and feel like I've got to watch this show again, then you're going to have a great time. If you watch the pilot and say, I don't know, <laughs> then I would suggest you don't come back. But the pilot's setting up is a world in which anything can happen. And what you'll see is lots of humor, lots of sexuality. There's violence. The reality is that when you live day to day, um, you have a different value system than when you're thinking about what's going to happen to you for a year from now or two years from now. You're almost nine. You're going to have to start pulling your weight. So there are a lot of things that they do which, which um, would be socially unacceptable. Uh, in many circles, but it's just the nature of what they kind of do to survive. A pen, Mr. Beer Keep. It is disability day. 715 monkeys. Fiona has this huge issue because she's an attractive woman and she's smart and kind of together that she could marry one of the solid guys from the neighborhood and kind of immediately go into this other role in her life of having children and having a nice little house and everything and she's not ready to do it yet. I think she has a feeling that maybe there are other things that she should explore before she does that. People like you are just way too used to getting your own way. And by people like me, you mean people like what? The danger that Steve provides is some excitement into a life which is a lot about making sure all the laundry's done and and that there's food on the table in the morning and how do you take three dollars and stretch that into a dinner for six? Got a today? From Karen Jackson. One of the things we're trying to do in some of the scenes is to take issues that we know are actually occurring in society. Teenage sexuality, uh, the, the notion of kind of, you know, having friends with benefits, these things which we talk about and turn the heat up underneath them in such a way that it becomes very comic, but also is uh, in its own way very poignant and realistic about what's really happening. I mean, I thought we tell each other everything, unless you got by a guy. And Lip, the older brother, is actually sort of amazed by his younger brother's possible homosexuality. And you see in these scenes this sense of acceptance and love between the brothers that is about, you know, accepting your family members for who they are and still being honest about the things that mystify you about who they are or what they might be or what they're doing with their lives. Still looking for fun, Fiona? There are lots of people who perceive that if you're in this family, you should have shame. And they... They went out into the world without shame about who they were. You know, uh, these are people that it would be easy to look down on, except that they don't look down on themselves. And we are utterly and completely shameless in our desire to make you laugh and cry in the exact same hour. So we, we really literally know no bounds in the things that you will see on this show. Shameless. New episodes, Sundays at 10 p.m.